We are back in Thimblebeat Park. This time with Ransom the Clown. Who wants to get into the Pillar Factory as well. Everyone seems to want to do that. We have a to-do list here we can look at. Uh, he wants to break into the Pillar Factory. Get the key to the Pillar Factory. Factory gate. And I think actually that's the key that we got last time with Dolores. And... So we could go there, but first let's look in with Franklin and see what he's doing. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. Oh. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Eh. Well, we do have a magical book. But... I don't, rem I don't remember what... Get into visit Chuck's tomb, get into penthouse. And there seems to be a con here. Thimble con. Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Listen to Case Gum to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Right, so that's what's going on in this ballroom. Let's see. Oh nice. Oh, isn't that lawyer? Cosplay legal advice, yeah. Help, I'm a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Okay, I guess it can't really interact much. A new Coke vending machine. It Zap only it. sells new Coke and no one wants that. Oh, I see. Maybe we can uh, pew, pew, pew. blow on the comics now. Blow on the table now. Bargain bin? Doesn't really work. Can't really talk to. Maybe the robot. It's pirates. a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Ha. <laughs> okay. Is there water in these bottles? Maybe we can um, splash them. There's no water to splash there. Oh, too bad. We can chill them. That feels as cold as space. <laughs> oh. Silence book, book pile. The sign here. Boo! The sign. Read the sign. A disclaimer about the veracity of the information in the books. Right. David Fox. Hello. Boo! Cutting edge computer technology. Oh, there's Virgil as well. I'll just try and zap this computer first. The developers seem nice. I don't want to muck up their precious computer. Okay. It's good. a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. There's a ghostly cake here. The glow makes the cake look delicious. Right. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Um, smelled really nice. Huh, which room smells really nice in this town? It would be flower, Perfume, not perfume, that doesn't often smell nice, but uh, let's try to have some Can cake. I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. Okay. Um. How about taking pity on a, you know, poor soul? I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay. Sorry. 
thanks anyway. Please, can I have some, you know, cake? I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. So what is a really good reason? How about, you know, I want some. I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Thanks anyway. Let's Please, can I have some, options. you know, cake? I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. What is the reason then? It looks tasty. How about, it looks, you know, tasty. I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thanks anyway. I'm starting to su suspect that. Please, can I have some, you know, cake? No, these I'm not going to give work. you any unless you have a really good reason. Uh, I about, think we need I'm, you know, hungry. One. I can't waste a slice no. of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thanks anyway. We need to See get you soon, reason. Virgil. See what's over here. Oh, that's kind of a little chuck thingy. Uh, statue. Cory. Cory and Cory. Ransom jerk alike contest. Apparently, you can win big prizes in the ransom look alike contest. The actual. Pro Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the ransom look alike contest. Uh, some technical knobs, though, and some microphone up here. It's turned on. Can you. Uh, ooh. Uh, nobody's noticing anything anyway. Mm, looks fine to me. Zap them. There. Now the technical knobs are, are lit. Now maybe we can move. Nah. Nothing's happening. Oh. It's an open door. It's a speck of dust. Now we can't pick that up. I guess he can't pick that up. There's... No, we don't have a pick up option, of course. First prize is a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. Oh, well, that seems perfect for ransom. So here we need we need to find a special secret spell book. And um, get into secret penthouse room. Oh, it's a room in the penthouse. But then we first need to get into the penthouse. <laughs> well, we know that Ransom can go here. Dolores could go to uh, the factory. So let's try. I need to get into the factory to get my prototype doll back. Sure. You guess another one? Win tickets to beeping ThimbleCon, yeah. Oh, he can't even get in because he hasn't got a ticket. So how how do we win those tickets? Let's see what it says again. Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Second? Listen to Case come to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Case what? None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Okay. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. I see. I see. So we have to call the radio when they announce it. Oh, there's a speck of dust. No. Oh, pick up the speck of dust. So I guess we could call them, but we need to get a phone. You have a phone here, manager? Ransom! What are you doing here? Um. I want tickets for ThimbleCon! We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K-Scumaboo contest winners. You should listen to K-Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. What are you still doing here, Abu? Maybe. I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. Well, I can't get into one of the rooms, I think. Any of the rooms. So it's gonna have to find a radio somewhere else, like in town. And then find a phone. Like in town, somewhere. Oh, whoops. So let's check at check in with the sheriff's office here. Because I think there is a phone 
No, maybe not. Yeah, there is a phone. Okay. So we have the radio here. The radio's turned on and tuned to 198.7 FM. Well, they're not announcing anything. It doesn't have any buttons. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. Oh, I see. So I guess we can't do that. We might need to go to the radio station. This is too bad. I mean, that's a bit of a way. I'm not going in there. They did a whole half-hour hatchet job call-in special on my last performance. Oh, crap. Oh, well. We'll go back to Dolores. She needs to get the key to factory gate. We're not sure this is the key then. But we have got a key, right? Yeah, we have got a key. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. Office. Well, could that be an office at the factory? Let's use key here. Let's try it. It doesn't work in that. Oh, crap. So that's not the key. Then what is? And where is the office? I thought, I really thought that was the key to the factory. But, well, I was wrong. Can't use that there. There's the bank doors. Oh, what? The bank's open now. Impressive. Impressive it's sign. just after five o'clock. It's a promotional bank flyer. Open an account today and get a free toaster. Well, the key is likely to be here, I guess, because they handle the foreclosure. There's a key. Hello, safely. I should wait until he's off the phone. Okay, I'll just take the key for now. Excuse me, Miss Edmund. What are you doing? It's the key to my uncle's factory. I just need to check things out. Miss Edmund, we take our trusteeship job seriously here. You know the factory is in probate. Is this an obscene phone call? These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. How can I help, Miss Edmund? Oh, okay. Can I still access the family safe deposit box? I'm afraid not. Your uncle had your access revoked shortly after you left town. I guess you can't tell me if my dad made any withdrawals or deposits in the last couple of weeks, either? No. That would be a breach of our client's confidentiality. Fair enough. Do I still have a checking account here? I've been cashing my checks at the convenience store, because I was pretty sure my uncle had control of my accounts. Your uncle did close all accounts associated with your name. I see. What kind of credit can a game developer get? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh... Oh, you aren't kidding. Well, you could get one of our basic federal beige credit cards with a $100 limit and an APR of 1,232%. No way, Jose. I think I'll pass. Uh, yeah. How are things at the bank? Very well. Thank you for asking, Miss Edmund. I thought maybe with all those businesses closing, the bank might be struggling a little? Oh, not at all. Your uncle had more than enough for us to weather the town's economic downturn. I wasn't aware Uncle Chuck was doing so well. I mean, the pillow factory was closed for years. True, but in his final years, your uncle began liquidating several valuable assets. It was more than enough to keep him afloat. Huh. What assets did my uncle liquidate? I couldn't possibly say, Miss Edmund. Bank client confidentiality and all. Maybe you'll find out more about it at the will reading. Maybe. Goodbye, Mr. El Palo. Come back soon, Miss Edmund. So how will we get the key? Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Okay. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? I wish I could get them to stop calling. I guess we need to... One of those fancy new wireless phones. There's no phone number on it. Ah, oh, too bad. Don't touch that! I'm waiting to see if that prank caller tries again. If I can... Excuse me, Miss Edmund. What are you doing? I just wanted to take a look at your paperweight. That paperweight means a lot to me. It was a special gift from... Well, it was a special gift. 
Feel free to look at it without touching. It's a small wooden animal figurine. I think I interrupted him when I... Don't touch that! The phone. I'm waiting to see if that prank caller tries again. If I can just get them talking for long enough, I might be able to... <clears throat> trace the call. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Tracing the call. Are, are, are right. you coming on to me? I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. I can't push that. Hmm. Oh, she can't get behind there. No. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Did the phone numbers... It was What's with all the heavy... Pre Open an account today and get a free toaster. Oh, there's no number there. So we might need to call call the bank to get him to leave something. Place Book of the Dead on an approved and officially licensed altar. Use on an unapproved altar may result in reduced effect and or severe injury. Place a living object found in proximity to the grave you wish to visit. Oh, I see. I see. If the living object is sentient, please ensure that it's probably restrained. Um, but I'm guessing it might be just a flower. Recite words found in Appendix A directly at the Book of the Dead. Appendix A is missing. Make something up. It really doesn't matter. Ages to up may contain joking hazards. And there's a copyright. So... This needs to be used up there, I guess. Someone has got a flower, right? Yeah. A flower from the cemetery. Yeah, so there's a flower from the cemetery. And he also needs to win tickets, apparently. We still haven't been able, able to use this wrench tron. I don't know what that's for. Um... Wait a second now. Didn't she have tubes? We could go rent a mu movie, right? That's something we could do. So we get into town on... Where is that movie rental place? Is it Beast Bus Station? Quickie Pal. That's it, right? I think that's it. We quickly go to the Quickie Pal. Where there's a Movitron Beta Rent 3000. And we could use this this one. There. It fits perfectly. Now it should be working. Then we can use this piece of flyer in there. Ah, a Betamax tape. Oh, a Betamax tape. It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch, because no Betamax players exist in this town. Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. I loved it, but not so sure about the ending. Let's switch to Ransom here. It's another speck of dust. And let's see if he dares to climb the tower. Yes, he does. Oh, oh. let's get the... Clown to climb the ladder. Yeah. The circus freak will climb the ladder. Skipping rungs on the ladder, though. It's the total time. Time. Oh, maybe. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. <laughs> okay. Stupid ladder. All right. So there's a lever here. What the hell is this? Looks complicated. Doesn't look that complicated. Oh. So that shows that it's working, I guess. And we push this lever. Yeah, serves him right for that radio show. Now I better get out of here fast. What happened? We're off the air. Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. Okay, so then she leaves.
Oh, she didn't even notice us, did she? Then we can go in here. I'm not going in there. I'm not going. I'm not going in there. They did a whole. Okay. Fine. Hurry. Run. Should take her a while to climb. Oh, it's open now. It's a turntable. Okay, push this lever. <sighs> Phew. What a climb! Okay, she's back up. Record. Well, we can use this beta tape in turntable. It will only work in the non-existent Betamax player. The two turntables there, and there's a mixing board. Lots of knobs and switches here. All the knobs have been glued in place. Can't even oh, adjust the volume on. level. What can you do then? Microphone. Impressive, Mike. That doesn't seem to work. Who can, who can use the mic? Lots of knobs and switches here. This record has glue all around the edges. I can't. It's been glued to the turntable. Okay, at least there's no music now, right? She's back. Okay, all back to normal again. Right, so she switches it back again. Okay, I see. Right. So, what I think we need to do is we need to get into the con. We need to talk to the lawyer. We need to get him to read the will. That's the radio broadcast. And then we can get the key. Maybe. Um. I guess. Well, oh, let's get the that's clown the only thing the I'll have to go on right now. But we will do that next time. The and circus freak will climb see you the then. Ladder. Take care and bye bye.